Hello, my name is Mia Story. I go to Swanning High School, and the name of my project is Home Sweet Home. Did you know that 8 in every 1,000 kids under 18 were confirmed victims of maltreatment in 2020 and 2021? Considering that in 2021 there were 391,641 children in foster care, the amount of children that have experienced maltreatment is higher than it should be. The reason I chose to do this project was to spread awareness of how, how we can make a positive change to how children are placed in foster homes. Growing up, I knew many people in foster care, and for the most part, they were placed into loving families. However, I also knew people who were placed into homes that were not so loving. These families only wanted the financial benefits of being a foster parent. Foster parents get paid $400 to $900 per child, but it also depends on the needs of the child. In 2022, eight-year-old Maria Aldisby was failed by the system, and as a result, she was murdered. While the system knew about her situation, they failed to make wellness checks. Foster care is a great practice, as long as it's regulated. Although there is a need for foster parents, that should not mean that the criteria needs to be lowered to accommodate for that. Here, this table is showing the relationship between children who have been victims of some kind of maltreatment and the perpetrator. So the question is, what can we do to prevent maltreatment in our community? First, I think we should have regular house checks as well as good communication with the children to make sure that they are comfortable. We also need to limit the amount of children in each household to make sure that they are getting the amount of attention they need. Lastly, we need to bring more awareness to this issue. This brings me to Wednesday's Child. It does a good job of spreading awareness about this topic. Because of things like Wednesday's Child, this issue has gained awareness and things are slowly but surely getting better.